My wife is type A. And that means somebody that wants to get it done, get it done now. And I'm not saying that as a criticism. I'm saying that as a praise. I'm the opposite. And they say opposites attract. I'm like a type Z. <laughs> I'm laid back. Well, I'm not that bad. I'm somewhere in the middle. Maybe towards type A a little bit, but not type A. But she has been really good at kicking me in the butt to get me moving and to keep me moving in a general direction that I need to go faster in. We all pray that we had more time. And we do this especially around the new year, around New Year's resolutions, we say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it now, I'm going to do it first. And often we don't, especially if we're type Z. Isaiah 48, verse 6 says, From this time forward, I will make you hear new things. I pray that you thank God for this day and this year, that this will be a time as never before in your whole lifetime of fulfillment and of meaning. Can you imagine doing so much more if you could only create more time in your day couple hours more, that's what we pray for, couple hours more, God, to do the things that I plan to do when I have time, God, I will turn my life around. So many people put off time. I know people that won't give themselves permission to relax or to have fun until it's their vacation time. And then they're so wound up that they can't relax. You have to have the power and the ability to realize that the reality of God is that God gives the same number of hours in each day to every other person in the world. That you're given the same. And the ultimate gift is time. What you do with time is up to you. And I preach this often to myself. I have a, a, a chart on my to-do calendar of type A things that if I don't do, Immediately, it will be disaster. <laughs> and, and I do them. I've learned. Type B things that could be put off till tonight. Type C things that could be put off for a day, a week, a month. And when you put those in categories, it helps to, to regulate your life. Realize. If you are not feeling in control, that you can pray to God to put you back in control. It is as if God is saying to you every morning, Hi, my child. I love you, my child. Here is a fresh 24-hour day as a gift to you to do with whatever you will. God doesn't force any of us. We have free will. And then, how are you going to face that fresh 24 hours? Well, you do it with enthusiasm. That's a key to a good life. Absolute enthusiasm for your day and your living. You say, thank you, God, for this moment. This hour, this day, I will both contribute and receive something of meaning and worth to me and through me to others. 
And isn't that what you want to do? You want to make a difference, not just in your own life, but in others' lives. Well, may this be a time of fulfillment. May this be a time of meaning in your life.